Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a stunning 1967 Chevrolet Camaro Rally Sport. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a factory produced Rally Sport. Uh, we found that out when we decoded the trim tag on it. It was originally a Granada Gold car with a black vinyl top. It's been repainted in gold again, but it's a lighter shade of gold than the uh, than the Granada Gold was, and it has a little bit of pearl mixed into it, so it really pops in the sunlight. You can see up front we've got the bumblebee stripe done in black with appropriate badging in appropriate places. On the hood, we've got our faux louvers. And the paint is just beautiful on this car. Take a look. Really, really nice paint job. Hard to find flaws with it. Up front, black egg crate grill and those hidden uh, Art Rally Sport headlights on there. In 67, they were electronically operated and these zip right open and zip right shut just as they should. Down below, a black chin spoiler to round out that cool front end look. We'll come back in a few minutes and pop that hood. There's a lot of neat stuff under there to check out. Now, being a Rally Sport package car, you can see it has all the cool molding on it. So we've got wheel lip molding, really nice rocker molding there. It's got the window trim also done bright. And all of this is in great condition. You can see the wiper arms also shining, dual chrome side mirrors door handles again window trim drip rail molding just gives it that extra pop against that paint it looks fabulous and especially on the windows with that tint on them they really show off the bright work that surrounds them for wheel and tire treatment we've got factory rallies we've got uh, small hubcap center caps and beauty rings all wrapped in bf goodrich radial tas As we move around to the rear of the car, you'll see it's got the iconic rear spoiler on it there. Another beautiful gleaming bumper. Yeah, I mean, you can see your reflection in the bumpers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And a little more bright trim around the taillights. And it is in excellent shape, too. Got a Rally Sport gas cap. And hiding down underneath it is a dual exhaust car that dumps out right behind the rear tires. While I'm in the back, I'm going to go ahead and Pop the trunk for you to take a look at. There we are. Trunk is nice and clean. It has your typical houndstooth mat in here. Just done in vinyl. Uh, full size BF Goodrich wrapped rally wheel. So you'll still be looking good if you get a flat. And there is a jack hiding back there as well behind it. Uh, here we have a full set of bow tie black rubber floor mats. And this folder has some recent receipts over the last couple of years of things done to the car. It's not extensive. It doesn't cover a whole restoration. It doesn't go back for 10 years. It's not a lot of receipts, but it's some. And also, I want to point this out too, a uh, new weather seal around the trunk looks great. And I mean, it looks nice and fresh and new. Super straight car, lines are great all the way down. Body is smooth. The paint really just jumps out at you. Let's see, nice, nice straight car. This side, you get a better sense of the level of window tint because so I got the passenger window rolled up. Uh, you can see inside, but it's not easy to. Uh, they are very, very dark, and it looks great with them, too. And there you can really get a sense of it with the camera angled this way at it. Now that we're back up to the front, I'm going to take a brief moment to pause. We'll get this hood open, and we will resume underneath. Here we are, back with the 68 Camaro Rally Sport. We've got the hood open, and it reveals a very clean and tidy engine bay. 
I'd be more than proud to pop this hood open at any car show. What we've got underneath the hood here is a 350 GM crate engine, uh, date stamp from 2004. It's topped off with a GM aluminum intake. Got an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor hiding up underneath there. A chrome Edelbrock air cleaner. Got some Chevrolet logo chrome valve covers. Up front, a Be Cool aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. So perfect for taking a long trip, getting stuck in rush hour traffic. This car is not gonna overheat. It runs like a champ. Uh, you can see here it was a factory produced air car, still has air and it works nice and cold. A couple other things about it under the hood here. You can see we've got power brakes, dual reservoir, uh, front disc, rear drums. And down here, there's our power steering fill. So power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, aluminum radiator, dual electric fans, four barrel carburetor. There is a lot to love under the hood of this car. Now made it up to that 350 is a 700R4. That's a four speed automatic overdrive transmission. Uh, and it puts power down at the back wheels through a 10 bolt rear end with 373 posi traction gears. So with the automatic overdrive and that 373, you can do a burnout or you can do 80 miles an hour down the freeway and keep up with the fastest traffic. This car will do it all. Let's go take a look at the interior. Nice body color and black interior. The interior is as it was ordered originally with standard uh, black vinyl seats, and that's what we see here now. They've obviously been recovered at some point. They are in really nice condition. No rips, no tears, no wear marks on the bolsters. I mean, they, they look great. Back seat looks like it's never been sat in. Now you'll see on the driver's side door panel here, which is in excellent condition, by the way. I mean, look at the bright work, no pitting, just really clean and sharp. It is a factory power window car. So a real highly optioned car from the factory, air condition, power windows, power brakes, power steering. It's, it's a nice, nice car. Let's hop inside. Ah, first thing that strikes me is this awesome center console. Uh, they put this in, the previous owner did, in 2022. It's one of the receipts that's in the book in the back. You'll notice here that the courtesy light beneath the ashtray still works. Shines out in the rear here. Um, they did not put, here they have a little delete panel, so they didn't put the seat belt holder in here, which I kind of like. Um, it, those are neat, but I, I don't prefer them myself. Here, they've redone the shifter, and they redid the shifter when they put the console in, and they put the appropriate four-speed automatic overdrive uh, selector on there. So you can see it's one, two, three, and then drive with a circle around it. Lots of times people, when they put a 700R4 in, don't bother to make that change, and whoever did this one did it right. On top of it, it has working gauges, and you see that second hand sweeping on the clock? A working clock. So super awesome. I, whoever chose to do this and put this console in here made the right decision. It really, really works well with the car. Moving up onto the dash, it has an AM, FM, cassette, and auxiliary um, retro sound style radio. We've had hit and miss luck getting the radio to come on. The whole thing turns on, you can change channels, you can turn the volume up and down, but there is no volume. It doesn't produce anything. The problem isn't the volume knob, though, because down here you'll see this, and you can plug your phone into this and set it on auxiliary right here and listen to music from your phone. Uh, myself and one of the other gentlemen from the office just yesterday had his phone hooked up to it and it sounds awesome there's a couple of six by nines on the rear package tray um just don't know why the radio function is not working uh, we don't have a cassette handy to try the cassette player so i can't speak to that moving up the dash just a little further climate control system still factory still works great ice cold air hot heat fan blows i mean it's just what you're looking for over to the right, ahead of the passenger, a real simple glove box. There's nothing in it. Um, it's 
just an empty glove box. Carpets are nice. Black, hook and loop, real clean, look fresh, real fresh. There's a view of the passenger seat and the passenger door panel. I didn't mention before and I didn't show it, but up above, nice tight black headliner, working dome light, came on right when I opened up the door. Dual visors. Now ahead of the driver, we've got a three-spoke Grant Wood steering wheel with working horn, and it's a tilt column. You can see back here, a little tilt. And ahead of the driver, even though it's an automatic, it has a tachometer as well as a speedometer. And over to the left here, this is for our lights, which I'll turn on for you and show you those gates open up just as they should up front. And over here, the wipers, I'm sorry, wipers above it right here. And it does have two speed wipers that do work. And a cigarette lighter over here. Beautiful car. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. One thing I didn't mention was the exhaust system. Underneath the car, uh, we've got a nice exhaust system that flows through some MagnaFlow mufflers, makes a great sound coming out the back end of this car. All right. Now I'm gonna give it a couple of pumps. It is a carbureted car. Oh, that sounds wonderful. You can see the uh, tachometer working just as it should. Let's take a look at the gauges down here. We are low on gas. It was a nice cold start. It's 2.40 in the afternoon. Battery's charging just as it should. Oil pressure's nice and solid. Dash pad, nice and crack free. Such a well done first gen Camaro here. If you're into 67s, you definitely want to check this car out. It is really well done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that the radio does come on, which this button makes it come on, but it just doesn't, no sound. No sound, you gotta plug in a phone to it. Uh, up here, I'll put the air on. Uh, see, you can hear it and see it. RPMs drop, compressor kicked on. Turn on the fan, cold air starts coming out. Love it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open the headlights up so you can see them. they should. You hear that strong V8 just chugging away. Great sound though is coming out of these mufflers back here. It sounds fabulous. Folks, if you've got any questions at all about this 1967 Chevrolet Camaro Rally Sport, give us a call. Here at Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio, our number is 614-276-7355. We can help you get financing on it. We've got a couple companies that specialize in loans on these older vehicles. We can help hook you up with a shipper who will get it delivered to your home. And if you've got any questions, again, give us a call at Cruising Classics, 614-276-7355, here in Columbus, Ohio, with this 67 Rally Sport. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow with something else cool.